Hey there Excel users, welcome to my Excel Power Tip channel. And in this video, I'll show you how you can automatically display a pop-up Excel user form when the user clicks or selects a specified range of cells using the VBAs in the set method. So the data set we've got here relates to sales and the pop-up sales form uh, displays metrics relating to the sales. And there are two methods you can use, the VBA intersect method to display the form. You can either use a fixed range of cells as a boundary, or better still, you can use a dynamic range of table cells for the boundary. Let's see how it's done. Before I go into the VBA coding, I just want to show you that the, the data set for sales has been set up as a table. Now there's two ways you can do that. You can either go from the Excel menu, click on insert, and there's an icon here, table. When you click on that, you'll convert the, the data set into a table. Or from the keyboard, if you press Control T, that will also convert the range of cells into a table. And when you do that, um, a table tool design context menu appears. And if you look on the left hand side, you'll have a table name. Now I've changed the table name to sales and that name sales is going to be referred to code, which I'm going to be showing you later. So the first step is to create a user form. You create your user form in the VBA editor and to open up the VBA editor, Within Excel, there's two methods. You can either, from the menu, go into the Developer tab and click on Visual Basic, or if you want to do it purely through your keyboard, you can press Alt and F11 keys. So if I click on the Visual Basic button, and I've already got the pop-up sales form created, and I've got the, uh, the controls already set up. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, what you do is, in the Projects uh, window here, which is on the top left, you click on Microsoft Excel objects, you right click, and then you select on insert, and then you choose use form. Now when you do that for the first time, a folder appears called form, forms, and the default name for the first user form uh, you create is called user form one. Now I've kept it as it is. Now the other thing is uh, in the properties folder uh, in the bottom left, uh, there's a setting called show model. Now that setting, what that does is if you change that from true to false, uh, the default setting is true. So if you change it to false, that ensures that when the user form is loaded, uh, you can still click on the um, underlying worksheet any cell uh, behind the uh, user form while it's still loaded. So while the Excel VBA window is still open, what we need to do is we need to decide which sheet which contains data. Uh, you want the Excel user form to appear as a pop-up whenever a user clicks on the form. So I've chosen sheet one sales data. And so double click on the sheet one. And then what you'll see is you'll see a black window with two drop downs. The first drop down relates to the object. Now for sheets, it's going to be there's only one object worksheet. So we still need to select it. And then what you'll see is uh, Excel shows a selection change event. Now, Excel is an event-driven programming language, and you can program objects under different events relating to the object. So the events that are relate to the worksheet object are all these events. The default one is selection change, so that's the correct event we need to use. I'm just going to replace the default code with the finished code. So the VBA code works this way. So it's looking at selection change and by value. And that by value is target, and, is, and the target is of range type. And then I'm going to be declaring a local variable within the uh, this subroutine. That's called check range, and that's going to be of type range. And so the first method is it's setting a fixed range of cells. The fixed range of cells is A1 to H26, and we want to see using the intersect. Um, method to see if the fixed range of cells is the target. The target is the active cell, so that could vary. Now, if there is an intersection, then a range object is is uh, returned, and that is returned to the check range variable. And then the last piece of code is to see if there's anything within the check range. If there's nothing, then don't show the user form. But if it is not, not nothing, uh, i.e. not check range and nothing, show the user form. So let's see this in action. So the peach arrow here, that relates to the fixed range of cells at the boundary. So bearing in mind that the last row for the fixed range is uh, 
page 126. I'm going to click on a cell outside the fixed range. Does a pop up user form appear? No, it doesn't. Now let's click on the last row of the boundary for the fixed range. And it does appear in sales form. The other way is a more dynamic and better way whereby you are going to be using a table object. And we're going to see if the table object, which is referred to in code, intersects with the target. So I'm just going to comment out the, the first code, first method, and I'm going to uncomment out the second method. So this sets a dynamic range of cells that's based on the table object. And that auto resizes and then checks if the active cell is selected by the user intersects it. So either again, just like with method one, either a range is returned or nothing is returned. Now because it's a uh, table object, we use a list objects method and that's related to the code name of the sheet and what we do we supply the name of the table in the list objects uh, a function and then that function uh, when you feed in the name of the table it has a property called range and that's dynamic so the address of that object the table object changes whenever the whenever the table changes or the resize so that's less rows more rows more columns, less columns, it automatically resizes. Then all we need to do is just check to see if the cell, the active cell, the target intersects it. And if it does, then show the user form. If it doesn't, not show the user form. So this second method, uh, the green arrow shows the dynamic range of cells for the table says boundary. So let's click out of it first. Nothing happens. Let's click out of it. Nothing happens. Now let's click on the last row of the of the table range cells boundary and it does appear. Because it's dynamic, uh, whenever the table resizes, then the intersection I will also take that into account uh, because it's looking at the table object for the target. So let's create a new row underneath the last row of the table for the sales data. I'm just going to copy it and paste it below. And now let's see if you click on the last row and does it enable the pop-up Excel window to uh, appear? Yes, it does. So the pop-up cells form appears and it's fully dynamic when using a table object intersecting with the active cell target using the intersect method. Thanks for watching and watch out for my next video.